lovely if I was down and out Would you still have love for me, girl? It's easy to love me now Would you love me if I was down and out? Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another and new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a chit chat get unready with me. Instead of like a chit chat get ready with me, we're going to get unready, take our makeup off. I'm going to show y'all how I take my makeup off, what I use, and we're also going to just be talking about whatever comes to my mind. So if you are interested in seeing this video, Definitely make sure you keep on watching. I just feel like we're so like up close and personal with it, but I like it. First and foremost, y'all, we have to put our hair up. I have passion locks in my hair and they are long and heavy and just everywhere. So we need to put our hair up. I ordered these bonnets off Amazon that I completely love. They're like the braid bonnets, so they're long. And I could fit all my hair in it. It was a black one and then like this cheetah, leopard, whatever this is one. For only $6.99. So I'm going to put my hair up and I'll be right back. Our hair up. We're comfortable. I've had this makeup on my face all day. I am super oily. The makeup is just ready to come off. I'm using the Inky List Oat Balm Cleanser. Only because I ran out of what I really like, which is the Pond's Cold Cream. Let me just use this till it's gone and then I can buy what I really like. This is what we're going to use to remove our makeup today. It works. It's really good. But it's just, it's something about it that I don't like. Twisted over you. Oh, I got, I got what, you what you need, need right here, baby. So what you wanna do, baby, baby, I know. Hey, y'all. So at first, I didn't know what I was going to talk about, but then I remember on Instagram, I had asked you all some questions a few, like a week or two ago. So I'm to the questions, and I'm going to talk about the questions. So. The first question someone asked me was, are you getting married soon? Or are you, no, no, that's not what they said. I wish it was that nice. She said, are you ever going to get married? So I don't know. I just feel like the way she stated this was kind of like, when you get married, like you done been in a relationship for like X, Y, and Z when you get married. And honestly, y'all, I don't know. Like if I wanted to be married, I could be married, but I'm in a place where I just feel like I have so much of myself still to work on. So I don't want to really, like I'm in a relationship, but I don't want to tie the two together, make it super official when I know I got things I want to work on as a person. It's more than just getting married for me. I just know that I have things I need to work on. The next question is how to gain confidence on posting more on social media. And then it's another question that says getting out of your comfort zone advice. So I'll kind of just pair those together. I don't really have no advice other than just do it. Like I, it's going to be cringe. Like when you make content and you post it, especially if you're following people from like where you're from that like know you, it's going to be hella cringe, but you just got to do it. Like, you just have to do it. All right, y'all. So right now I'm going in with the Dermalogica Super Cleanser, something like that. When I wear makeup, even when I don't, I'm a double cleanse type of girl. Sometimes I'll triple cleanse, y'all, especially when I have makeup on because makeup is so hard to get off. Like, it takes so much. So I'm just going in with this face wash. I like it. It's not my favorite. Once this is gone, I probably won't buy it again, but it was a cool experience i'm just making sure i get all of as much as i can off with that first cleanse because y'all it be looking like you don't have no makeup on especially after i use that oak balm cleanser but it's still a lot of makeup on our next question says do you think youtube is dead and if not what are your tips on starting and being successful in it i'm gonna be completely honest with you all like completely completely honest when I started YouTube, of course I was nervous, I was scared, but 
I couldn't imagine just trying to start YouTube right now in 2022 because it's a whole different world. When I started YouTube, which wasn't even that long ago, it wasn't it wasn't so much like everybody just kind of did their own things. Like I remember I used to do the weirdest kind of videos and it didn't matter like but now it's you know everything's trendy. It's like people popping out with cameras on their first video. When I was starting YouTube, I had my cell phone and that was just that. We made it do what it do. So I think it is more intimidating now, but it's still doable. I think you can still start and be a successful YouTuber right now. You just got to do it. And just remember to be yourself. Most important thing, especially when you're just starting off, is to be consistent. And I'm talking about not one time a week. Girl, you need to be posting like three times a week. If one video don't hit the explore page, then that video may. You need to put more more of your eggs in a basket. If you watch the vlogs, then you know I recently got this cleanser and I'm obsessed. It's the youth to the people kill and spinach cleanser. It smells so good. It smells like green tea and just, oh, it's so good. I like to kind of wash my face without water first and then wet my hands and add the water, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but love, love, love this cleanser. So this is a really good, good question. Someone asks, is it normal to feel like you're outgrowing emotionally your man of three years? Yes, I feel like it's completely normal, especially when you're young in a relationship. You're still learning yourself. Your brain is still developing. You're learning what you like, what you don't like. And if you used to like something, maybe you don't like it anymore or whatever the case may be. You're allowed to grow as a person and... Whoever you're with, I feel like communication is the best thing for this situation because you need to express that you feel like you are growing, you're outgrowing them, so maybe they can step up and do more or, you know, whatever you require now. Cleaning my lash extensions is something I do not play about. I prom I don't care. Like, I have to clean them because it's so much stuff built up on your lash line and your lashes, especially if you're wearing makeup, like you'll see all the stuff. I don't wash my face twice and watch all the stuff that comes from out the lashes. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shit. Post me a pic finna make me a profit. When the liquor hit, then the bitch get toxic. Why the fuck you in the club with niggas wild? I been lit since brunch, that shit. Order 42 for the table, let's pop shit. Missionary or jockey style on my top shit. Pussy ass niggas, hey, you know me from the closet. I was trying to call me a snake shit. I guess I can relate cause a bitch spit a whole lot of venom. And since these hoes are rats, when they come around me, all I see is a whole lot of dinner. Walk around the house butt naked and I stop at air mirror just stare at my own posterior. I don't give a fuck who talk behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees hands on my knees hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape now i'm going in with this olay honey lotion shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shape hands Somebody asked me what was my thoughts on BBLs, and it's very, very simple. I am a firm believer in let people do what they want to do. I'm not going to be mad at nobody that just want to look good. Now, I do feel like there is some people that maybe get addictive and just go ham. So, I do feel a certain type of way about that. Like, girl, relax. Like, but... You just want to look good in your clothes, want to feel good about yourself. I'm not mad at you. I feel like the people that feel like people shouldn't, I think they just need to worry about how they aren't. So they are the people that can keep the world different. A lot of people argue and say, everybody's looking alike, everybody this, everybody that. And I, I, I get that to a certain extent, but it's like, if you can afford to fix something you're insecure about, or you don't like about yourself, why wouldn't you? Me personally, I feel like every insecurity doesn't need to be fixed because sometimes it's not even that serious. But then again, who am I to tell somebody what's serious to them? So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. I really enjoyed making this video. I think it's pretty cool to be able to like watch me do this and still get like topics. So if you liked it, definitely let me know if I should do more. And as always, I love you all. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.